Okay, hopefully my camera's working. I am about, oh, let's see on my odometer there, about 85 miles from home, making my first gas stop. I'm still not out of Illinois yet. Getting close to Galena. There should be a gas station about three quarters of a mile down the road here. It has been extremely cold. I left and it was 61 degrees, and if anything, it feels like it's been getting colder. So I think at the gas stop, I will take off my sweatshirt that I brought along and put it on for an extra layer. Yeah, I don't think it's even gonna reach 71 like they said. Might possibly get sprinkled on too. The clouds have been looking darker as I've been coming this way, but I do have my rain gear, so no biggie. So we'll see what's up ahead. For those of you that follow me on Facebook, you know at the last minute I had to uh, do some arranging. Is this a gas station here? I'll take a chance. I think it was. I, uh, yep. I had to do a little bit of electrical work at the last minute. My charger for my GPS, I bought one of those uh, aftermarket ones and it did recognize my old GPS but when I upgraded to a new GPS it did not recognize it. <sighs> so, yeah, we got some Harleys here. Okay, fresh battery in. Hopefully this one will last more than five minutes. We are crossing across the Mississippi River into Dubuque. So I'll give you a little scenery of this. That's one of my favorite things to do, crossing bridges. And yes, I've actually turned around and crossed bridges several times just for the heck of it if traffic wasn't really bad, but I'm not gonna do that today. I do like the bridges better that have the gratings underneath as far as where you can look down some people don't like that, they kind of freak out. Oh, you can see the flood walls now. They did, they were working on the flood walls last time I was here, but they didn't have them completed. Now it looks like they have them completed. I'll protect the downtown. Lots of boats out today. Okay, past the halfway point, so now we are officially in Iowa. Well, I guess the sign actually right now we are here, yeah, just now. There's one more view of downtown Dubuque. And then I've got about just under 30 more miles to reach my destination. I will be staying in the little town where they filmed, well, just outside of town, they filmed Field of Dreams. So I guess I will turn this off here and resume again when I get closer to my destination. Okay, now I'm almost to my exit, 294. This is Worthington, New Vienna, but it's also Dyersville exit. And this is where Field of Dreams was filmed. Well, right outside of town. And then, uh, Inside, there should be a museum. In fact, I think we can see it maybe up ahead. I'm trying to remember what I saw on Google View. Yeah, there's the Animal Health Clinic. And then the uh, Toy Museum should be off to the right somewhere here. Yeah, I think that's it up ahead. The uh, three toy companies that did farm implements and tractors actually were in. There it is right there, big, big huge sign. Antiques, farm toys, collectibles. Well, that's the, no, that's not the museum part though, I don't think. I think the museum is, uh, there it is right there. There's the museum. Antique, 
Farm Toy Museum. So I'll have to see how late that is then I go check in at my motel and then take a look back at it. And then maybe next time through I'll do the Field of Dreams tour. Okay, it doesn't say no right on red, so. And they got a nice assortment. Country Junction restaurant, McDonald's. I think there's a Hardee's up ahead. Yeah, there's the Hardee's sign. Uh, I think there's a Subway too, just back behind me and to the left. Quiznos sub there too. I haven't seen Quiznos sub in a long time. They used to have them in my area and then they pretty much all closed up. Their uh, steak and cheese sub sandwich was really good. I might have just talked myself into that. So, anyway, I'll get situated and checked into my place, and then uh, hopefully, if it's open, we'll take a little view around the uh, Antique Farm Toy Museum.